Amen. Kapitay ke iki. Oklele ya si hoha. Mawaipe. Kau ulang tu kau faka apa apa makhe ke afio alam Maria man oni hotau loto tamu tau loto lotonga. Koe kaulau apa yang Maria oi ah koe ni koe tapua koe modu iya ke teau teau koe ilo koe ah koe ni Oi kau mau ngai tangata, inau perahok oi ngawe oi ah koi, kau ilo koi eki, kau ni faka kolo aki au atapu aki oi ah koi, kau perapa apa lahi kie salesi kau mak presi, eh kau kikia kau fikau anahina tapi kau skalu. Ofa monin, pal monita, mupak apa palah kita musuh? Kau hang awe eki, kau ofa lah kita dia, dia musuh. Eki kau ngalot kau api, tawa omai ki ah kau ni kau ki les, kau ofa mata tapi ay otua. Hepai halot. Fata pui engawe oi ah koi tamai mau fama lo lah kete koi pau na ikai koi ikai ke mau tu oi ah koi kakoi ohi koi ei kipe ong mau fama on ni pompong koi ni pokoi pe na ikai tamai ko lot ke ke hanga pan ni ai ori ta fei lau lau pompong koi ni ufu ho kau na nga Koi kele mutu moya nga hal. Lea pe koi ho fol fola tau atai. Hoko koi malok. Hoko koi faka ilo hala. Hoko koi hakonaki kete mau tolu. Faka taha taha faka osi. A district number one. Eki ko lot kete koi. Tapu kina faka tolu lea. Faka fou atuai. Ay malohi. Oi fikau ke omi ia aha ko inisis ko mau lotu ya ko mau hu ia hua fasisu ko alo ka ko mau fahamu oi amen tau makai ke tau follow follow tau hiko ya ulat tesalo naika vesi tahau no ia no vesi wataha de Salomies First Thessalonians chapter 4 verses verses 16 to 21 Opehe hono pagarea te fia ma uaipe lotu ta etuku fa feta i he me akoto ape Koi fina ngalo ya oi otua ya klaisi isu kia teku moutolu. Owa na fuifu i alau maalie. Owa na atai tokanga ki ngahi malanga. Ahi ahi ya ngahi mea koto ape puke ke mau aya okulele. Chapter 5, 1 Thessalonians 5, 16-21. Always be joyful. Keep on praying. No matter what happens, always be thankful for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Do not stifle the Holy Spirit. Do not scoff at prophecies, but test everything that is said. Hold on to what is good. Koe, kake inga ai whakotuhu i he, i vahe vahe koe ni, koktoo ya me vesi wataha. The theme I want to 
to focus on is taken from verse 21. Test everything and hold fast to what is good. I like the translation, the old translation used by the Methodist Church, which says, um, test everything, whichever is good, hold on fast to it. If anything that is bad, uh, stay away from it. Amen. Yeah. Carry or take only what is useful. If I were to sum up the whole chapter, chapter 5, they all come up to this conclusion, prepare for the second coming of the Lord is drawing near. The Apostle Paul is trying to uh, encourage the Church of Thessalonica to uh, make this the center of their lives. The, what Paul is talking to the uh, Thessalonica people is like a father advising his children. For there's no father who wants his children to fall into evil. And that's why he advised them on verse 21 of the importance of choosing or taking only that is good. That is a father's love for his children. The father wants to safeguard his children from the worldly things. And he advises them or tells them to do only the good things and if they know anything that is evil, to refrain from it. Amen. Prophet If we consider our days, we will see that a lot of changes have come on the land. And today's generation count or choose the good, the bad things and count them as good, and vice versa. But to the Apostle Paul, you must test everything that you come across. And whichever that is good, you should hold on to it. And it was important for the apostle to test the lives of the, the members of the Thessalonians. 
of the dawn of Nova Dorothy. We all fall short in life. Kapo ifaka koloa, opuyaye mea, oktala mahe kolofola ke tau mui mui kiai. Te ko tau hau anga peia ko tau tala ngofua ke mea ko tala mahe kolofola. But the blessings for us is that the, the Bible tells us, gives us a way out of the trials that we go through, and that is a blessing. But we need to be awakened. And focus on what is good. Whatever good things you hear, good stories you hear. Take, a, take those things. Whatever message your pastor preaches. Take those good things. You will realize that those things you hear at church will carry you, will take you to reach your destiny. Amen. Amen. Our journey is life is very difficult because every individual has, has their own uh, desires. I don't know what yours are and neither do you know what mine is. But only God alone knows what I struggle with and what you struggle with. But you know the secret, let go of those things that are unnecessary. There are unnecessary burdens that we need to let go of. I don't know what those burdens are. Only you know. And I know what mine are, but the apostle is advising us, us today to let go of unnecessary burdens, unnecessary, unnecessary things, but take take up and hold on fast. Whatever you know will build up your life, your spiritual life. I'm not referring to the physical. Anything you know will help build up your spiritual life, take that up. If there are things you know that will destroy your spiritual growth, refrain from it. Philippians 4 verse 8 tells us the things that will be useful for us to carry. Everything that is true. Don't carry the liars around. Don't carry a truth. Amen. We need to carry the truth with us. Pass on the truth, not the lie. That's what the apostle wants to help this church to grow spiritually. Things that are true. Things that are holy. Things that are beautiful. 
Good news. Take those things. Carry those things around. Those are the things you should put in your lives. <laughs> If the people don't heed those things that Paul is talking about, they will go back. Amen. I'm glad District 1 are not people that come and go. Yes, amen. Even though we stumble, we still get out. Like when you see someone limping and might stumble, they still get up and so walk forward. Again, if they stumble, they get up and keep walking. That's a picture of
Remember to take Jesus in the family, in the church. Let me remind you again, please take only that which is good for the journey in life. And there is no one more important than the Lord Jesus. May the Lord bless you and give you strength in everything that you do in ministry and in life. Amen.